Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the US session. Today is May 25th, 2021, here in Hawaii, and will be May 26th, 2021, in London. Uh, today, again, we'll be going over S&P 500, gold, and also oil. Give you guys some levels that we're going to be looking at. For those who like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. For those who are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, again, for those who have any questions, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But other than that, guys, um, let's go ahead and jump into it. For S&P 500, we did have a great move down a little bit right back into support right at these 41 81.75 to 41.82s and then we bounce right off that level so what are we looking for uh during the london session and potentially into the u.s session uh for this one here you can see first area we're looking for resistance 42.03.25 if we can't break above that level we're going to look for the market to come down either to this mid level here right around these 94s or Coming down into this level of support at 41.8175 and looking to see if we get a bounce of support from there. Now, if we don't get the support, or if we do get the support, we will look for a long up into 41.8175. If not, we will look to see if the market can break through, come back to our next level of support at 41.67. Now, underneath 67, this is where we could see the market try to come a little bit deeper right into these. Right around these, uh, what that was this, 40, 4450s, and then maybe even a little bit lower from there. Now for this bullish run, again, first level of interest for me is going to be right around these 8175s as support. If we can get back down there, that's going to be my first area of interest for the long continuational move. Uh, from here, push up. We we are moving right into the resistance right now. Um, so. There may be another area of interest for long. Either we get above these 4203s, find the support on top, and continue into these 42125s, or above these 42125s, we will look for a continuation of move uh, on top of that level. Let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller chart here on S&P. As you can see, we're almost there. Right now, struggling at a little level here at around these 98 uh to 99 41.99.75 right over here it's going to be our level of current resistance right now but again i am looking for this market to get into 4203 first and then see if we get that resistance if not and we get on top of 42 42.03 then i will be looking for the market to try to come up retest this as support and then continue to our next level 42.12.25 that one we're either going to go to and fail find that resistance come back down or get through that level and continue up from there only other long i would have is on top of 42 12 25 hold the support and continue to move up from there so a couple different opportunities that we could have here on s p let's go ahead and take a look at gold some of the levels we're looking at right now uh so right now we are currently nicely bullish on gold coming right into a level of resistance 1908.3 this is where we may see the market try to pull down a little bit i'm looking for the market to get back into these 1904.5s uh, and then maybe find that support or get back below these 05s into 1900.8 and then look for the support for there if we get below these 08s, we will look for the market to come down a little bit deeper. Again, we could have another level of support, 1896.8, and below that, uh, look for the market to come into 1890.4. So a couple of levels of opportunity um, that we could potentially have as support on the way back down that could pop this price and continue to move bullish. Uh, now, if we get above 1908.3, I will look for the market to try to retest that area and then continue from there. Uh, so a couple of different areas of long opportunities. Again, 04.5, 1900, 1896.7, and below that, uh, 1890.4 as the next level of support. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here on gold for you guys. So you guys can see currently struggling right there around these 1908.1s. And would be great if the market could give us an opportunity to come right back down into these 1904.5s and then hold the support from there. 
But right now, a little bit of a micro level of support happening right here at these 06s that potentially could keep moving this market up to 08 through 08 and then continue the bullish run from there. But on top of 08 is where I'd look for the support and then continue the run from that area. But again, 04.5, 1900.8, and 1896.7. And below that, 1890.4 is going to be my levels. Now, if you get underneath those levels, that's your opportunities to short. But I am probably going to be looking more for the longs um, as we come into support. So we'll look out for those things. Let's go ahead and take a look at oil for you guys as well. So for oil, you can see it had a nice movement right now. And we did bounce off of a key minor level of support right now. 65.91. This is the area that we could see the market try to turn, retest these 66.22s, and then try to pull up through that level at 66.52. So we'll see if the market wants to give that. Right now, we we did come a little bit underneath that, but we bounced right up on top of it, and then we are trying to move back up. Now, more of a better level of support for me is going to be somewhere around either these 65.14s or somewhere around these 6547s. Now I like 6514, I'm gonna leave that up there, see if we get the opportunity to get the market to come down into that level and then find the support. Under that, 6491 and then below that, gonna look out for 6420 and then 6384 as levels of support. Now we get below these areas, there will be opportunity for some shorts, right? We could see what would play out here, get below these levels of 6591 could see the rejection and continuation down same thing with 6534 get that maybe double top right here and continue it down and i like this bigger movement that potentially could happen underneath 6491 to continue the move all the way back down into these 6420s so a couple opportunities there bullish run could definitely happen above 6652 get that support there and continue it higher let's take a look at a smaller chart here on oil as well you can see we did bounce nicely off that level and we are trying to head back up so we'll see if the market can actually break this area first one area 6607 second area 6612 and then head back up into our 6622s as the next level of resistance we'll see if the market wants to give us that opportunity to do it um, if not gonna let this market try to come a little bit deeper into our 6514s now we could have some areas in between all of this but we'll see what actually happens and we'll mark them off if we can there could be this little level between the 6560 uh, as an area of support but we'll see i'm going to leave the levels up like this for now wait for more of the exhaustive areas for um oil as well so we'll see what happens but that is it for s p 500 gold and also oil if you guys like these videos please go ahead and smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe uh for those who are thank you guys very much any questions you guys got feel free to pop them in here on youtube we would love to get back to you guys but other than that guys for those who are going to continue to trade please go ahead and trade well uh you guys take care have a great night we will chat again for those who are going to be in uh, the room tomorrow, Peer Structure Trading, that a part of Peer Structure Trading. Look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow uh, for the U.S. session. You guys take care. Have a great night.